Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel. In this video, I will show you my latest fun project, and that is a macro keyboard, or you can also call it a DIY budget stream deck. This is how it looks like. So just a simple box with several buttons that we can use to control application on our computer. So in this case, I'm going to use it for OBS. For this project, I'm using Arduino Pro Micro, or you can also use other board which has USB capability. In this case, I'm connecting seven buttons and one of the terminal goes to digital. So this one, D2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and the other terminal of the button goes to the ground in this case i'm using the button to send zero signal so if it's not pushed then it's normally open the this one for example the digital 2 will receive signal 1 because i'm using pull up method so we will see that later on in the sketch this is the design of the enclosure so let me hide the buttons okay it looks like this and consists of three parts first is the front cover and then next is the clamp inside I will show later on and then next is the base so if I hide the base it will show what's inside this is the Arduino board a pro micro board and then this clamp will hold the board in place okay if I hide the clamp it will shows like this and if I hide the Arduino board it will shows like this Okay, so the board will go here and then hold with the clamp and then we will put an M3 bolt or screw here to hold it in place and then uh, put the buttons and some wiring and so on. This is how it looks like after wiring. So as you can see, there is the Arduino board and then some connectors to the button. So the button will go to the ground for one terminal and the other terminal will go to the digital port and this is the sketch very simple so i'm using button a as 2 button b as 3 and so on delay rel is uh, this one is delay before button release okay and then delay next is a delay before the next button can be pressed and then for the setup pin mode button a input pull up so i'm using input pull up so in this case uh, as you maybe remember from the diagram before that uh, the button will be normally open and the uh, digital port will receive uh, one signal in normal condition but if the button is pressed it will receive a zero signal that will be used in the next part of this program so okay button a input pull up button b and so on until button g input pull up and then keyboard begin okay this one is the uh, the initialization of the keyboard so okay we should use this one include the library of keyboard okay next to the loop part if digital read button A is 0, then button action 1, key F13. So I'm using key F13 up to F19, which is normally not shown on a computer keyboard. And that will be used for um, my usage in the OBS. And then um, this is a function, button action 1. Uh, this one, void button action 1. So it needs several input key one delay release and then delay next so we can see here that uh, this button action one is for one button action but if you want to use two button action for example control c control v and so on you can use this other uh, void function so for example you need to define the key one will be left control and then for the key 2 will be uh, R or T or so on I will put some example in this uh, sketch now we will upload this sketch or go to the Arduino board but first let's see it's on COM10 but it is detected as Arduino Leonardo okay so we will use that one for now Arduino IVR boards 
Arduino Leonardo okay and then after that we okay we can first verify but in this case I'm going to just upload to the board and now for example to map the hotkeys on OBS so we will need to click this one settings okay and then hotkeys so for this one start recording we click here and then press the button that we want from the controller that we have just made and then for this one stop recording also same method and there are several scenes here so this one is uh, I'm using Arduino IDE plus cam so I will click here and then press the correlated button that I want to use on my controller or on my micro keyboard and so on so that's all for now I can switch from this scene to this one and then this one <laughs> anyway if you're interested in this project you can download the STL file for this enclosure and also the sketch I will put the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in the next video